So in this video, we're gonna talk everything Kajabi email marketing and how to actually build out your emails within Kajabi and send these out to your list on a regular basis. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I wanna offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. So here we are back in the partners account and all I've done is clicked on marketing and I've clicked on email campaigns. So this is the stage where we're gonna be creating our first email. So you've actually, you're at the point where you've put out lead magnets, whether it be free training, a free guide, an audio, people have started to opt into your email list. So you're actually collecting a good size number of email addresses. Now, collecting emails, like growing a list is probably one of the best things you can do for the success of your online business because email marketing is still probably one of the most engaged ways of putting your products and services out in front of your audience as they've already opted in from you. But the main thing is you need to do is you need to nurture them, meaning you need to actually send them emails on a regular basis. You can't just send them emails when you want them to buy something. So as a rule of thumb, I would probably say at minimum, email your list once a week, even if it is just to share the, the most recent content that you're putting out into the world. But even if it's just a promotion, you might be sending more than once a week, but actually just have a look at how to actually, depending on your email um, campaign strategy, I would probably say just minimum once a week. Click on emails and we're just gonna create your first email broadcast and just click get started. So. Kajabi offer you three options right now is an email broadcast, which we're going to be walking through in this video, email sequence, we're going, we're going to be touching on that later, or an event email. So a broadcast is basically emailing out to your entire list or to everyone who owns a certain product. You can actually schedule that out. Email sequence is you set the email sequence out and then people will just opt in and you can trigger the start of a sequence. So this is, this is automated for you. And then an event email, if you're doing a launch or if you're hosting an event, you can actually tag emails to the start or the end of an event. So you can actually send them out and automate them. But we're gonna click email broadcast and click continue. So just like landing pages, emails or Kajabi give email templates that you can use, some really great templates that you can actually use. And, um, and yeah, that they look really, really good. But I would probably just say, look at this with you know how are my emails going to be perceived are they going to be perceived spammy uh, hold on to the end of this video because i've got a really cool tool that you can actually implement to actually see the deliverability of your emails what is the point in doing all this work growing an email list um if you can't email people if your broadcasts aren't are getting sent straight to spam, but there's a cool little trick that you can actually have a look at to see the deliverability of your email. So I probably wouldn't go with too many graphics, too many images, anything like that. I would probably go for something really, really simple. So something like simple text would, would be a good one for me. I would probably just show you how to use this simple text. So let's get started with simple text. This is test email. Let's click get started. So once I build this out, you've got to think about this strategically. Who's this going to? Why am I emailing them? What do I want them to do? So first of all, um, who will receive this broadcast? You can schedule a broadcast out, but actually I don't have 
Actually, I have one subscriber in my partner's account because I opted into the lead magnet. So I have one subscriber that this would be going to. But if I wanted to send it out to all customers of a certain product, you can. So if everyone on my course, I could broadcast them. But actually, I'm just going to go all customers, which is me, and then save and continue. So the subject line, this is the internal subject line, which is fine. You can have whatever you like in there. But the actual subject line of the email um, think about what is the one job of the subject line. It's for your audience to open that email. So what you want to try and do is try and craft an enticing subject line because once they see that in their inbox, they're either going to delete it or just ignore it or open it. So what you want to try and do is have an enticing headline or intriguing headline to say this is how I made X amount of money or this is what I did to gain these followers anything that you, you you're not actually telling the story in the title you're going to be telling the story in the email then this gives you an idea of preview text so in this email like da 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 you can actually give a, a little snippet you've only got a certain number of characters 140 characters here to actually so it shows under the title usually on mobile desktop gives you a little preview so have a, a really good think about an enticing subject line so they open the email and the preview text they might be reading that as well to open the email then click edit content to actually edit the content of this email now this is pretty much like the um, the landing pages that we've been going through you can add different sections in here you can add an image you can add a video that you can actually embed behind that you can click a um, you can have a call to action button and in the call to action button you can go in and put a U another url again it's very very much like building out a landing page you can make the button your own color you can make it large you can make it full um, you can make it centered but just have a think about less is definitely more when it comes to emails you can preview this just click preview so it says um, view and web browser. I'd probably re recommend to keep that there. But hey, first name, if you are collecting their first names, have first names. If not, I would just go straight into the email. I don't collect first names on my lead magnet. So I just go straight into the email. Tell them a little bit about what this email is about. And then either have a, uh, I like to have a thumbnail or a link to a video. And then you can just click in either whether it's a landing page or it's a, um, a blog post or anything like a new YouTube video. And again, I would probably put a descriptive uh, read more. I probably would just put read more. I would put read more about or watch X. If you are on my email list, you will see these coming through so you can actually study them as they come out. But have one link. You can have that link in multiple places, but just have one link. So. Think of the, the title of the email has one job it's for them to open. What is the body of the email? It has one job for them to go and either read or consume your free thing or actually go to a sales page and consume more because you actually want them to buy something if you're running promotions. So the aim of the title is for them to open and the aim of the email body is for them to go and read your blog or go and actually go to your sales page. So have this if you're not good at writing emails you can actually use chat gpt i use uh, chat functions um actually open chat and say hey is a good question to ask what would you need to understand from me in order to understand what who i am what company i run who i serve and what products i deliver it will then ask you a series of questions that you can go back and forth and then it will actually understand fully what you do and then say hey chat please draft an email for me. I'm promoting this product to this audience and here are, the, here are the details. It will draft you a good email. I use AI to actually draft emails, to draft blog posts only as a starter for 10. That means just go into it, make sure it makes sense and, and edit it. It's a way easier to actually edit something that's already written and to make it your own than actually just staring at a blank canvas. So I'm just going to click save. Hopefully that you found that a little bit helpful and then you can actually preview it or then you can just click um, back to test email. So once you've got your internal title, you can call that what you, week, uh, what you like. So it's a uh, weekly email or a monthly promotion or whatever that is incite, inciting um, or enticing title. Then everything looks good. Send yourself a test email. Now, uh, a lot of my clients and a lot of my students don't bother doing this bit and it's obvious. 
send yourself a test email and then open the email, open it on, on mobile and open it on desktop, check out the links work, make sure the email looks good. You might have to come back to this and edit the content again. But all I'm gonna do now is come back, save and continue. And then you schedule it out. So you can either send it right now or you can schedule for later. Usually I schedule it for later. Um, and here I would just click um, maybe like next Wednesday and then schedule it out at like 4 p.m. Uh, I'm on UK time, so click apply and then, or, or you can keep and save this as a draft or you can just click confirm. So that's actually scheduled out to go out to me for next Wednesday, but I will be canceling it. And um, that's how you send out an email broadcast. And before I forget, you can actually test the deliverability of your emails just by simply heading to mail-tester.com and actually copying this um, email address and send a test email to this email address, then come back here and check your score. It will give you all of your deliverability results and what to do about that. It's actually a good peace of mind to actually do this every now and again, just to check how deliverable your emails are actually going to your audience. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpinkman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeekman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.